Hi, I'm Claude from Wilderness Skills. Welcome to this week's review. In this week's review, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the pants I'm wearing. It's the Claw Gear Raider Mark IV. Let's have a look at how the pants fits me. The size I'm wearing is a European size 52, which equals to about the size of large in US sizes and they fit me perfectly. The weights for these pants are 890 grams. The pants are made out of a polycotton blend, 65% polyester and 35% cotton. And they have a reduced infrared signature. So this means if you're out in the field and somebody's looking at you with their night vision goggles, they'll have a harder time seeing these pants compared to some other pants. Let's look at some of the details on the pants. Well, up here in the belt area, it's optimized for rigger and safety belts, as well as for suspenders. There are five uh, belt loops. Uh, they are seven centimeters in height, except the uh, large belt loop here on the back, which is nine centimeters in height. It features an improved uh, waist adjustment system here in the side with elastic uh, components for better comfort and absorption of body movements. And the area can only be tightened. It cannot be expanded. So this is maybe something that you need to take into consideration. Here in the waist, there is a large button and a velcro closure. There are two D-rings here at the two front belt loops. You have a YKK front zipper with a small string. Then you have a total of 12 pockets placed all over the, uh, the pants here. You have two front pockets, 18 centimeters in width and 23 centimeters in depth. So they are really deep. There is a reinforced area down here for a flashlight or a knife with a pocket clip. Inside the pants pocket here, there is a string where you can adjust the height of the knee. So if you're wearing knee pad or maybe the trousers are a little bit too long, you can adjust the, uh, the knee here. Really, really nice detail. Then we have the two uh, back pockets, which are secured by YKK zippers, also with a string. The width here is 13 centimeters, and the depth of the back pocket is 18 centimeters. As you can see, there's also a reinforced seat area. Then we have the uh, side cargo pockets, with both a button and a velcro closure. The uh, size of the cargo pocket is uh, 19 centimeters in width and 24 centimeters in depth. There is a D-ring placed inside the pocket area and there is a small drainage hole down here in the bottom so if your pockets are filled up with water they can drain out here. Then behind the closure flap here there is an extra pocket. This one can hold a 30 round M4 magazine. The width is 9 centimeters and the depth is 16 centimeters. Then here on the outside of the pocket there is a zippered area, or a zippered pocket, also YKK with a small string. The opening here is 12 cm, and the width and depth is approximately 18 cm. So, plenty of room for an iPhone or something else. The good thing about the, these pockets here, uh, with the zipper, is that if you're sitting down or kneeling, then you have easy access to uh, items right here in, the, in this pocket here. Continuing down uh, to the knee area, you have a contoured knee area with the room both for external knee pads and internal knee pads. So the internal knee pads are normally soft knee pads and the external are hard knee pads. The uh, internal area is uh, made out of 100% cool max fabric to optimize uh, sweat absorption uh, and uh, to place the soft knee pads in. The outside area here is equipped with the four button holes for knee pads like the Trust HP from D3O. Continuing down, 
here on the uh, back of the uh, of the knees there are two uh, pieces of velcro where you can uh, adjust the uh, the width of the knee area really nice feature so you get a uniform pull uh, on the knees here in this area here a little bit further down you have a smaller cargo pocket also secured by two pieces of velcro where you can place uh, small snacks or energy gels really easy to reach uh, when you're down in a kneeling position the uh, size of uh, this pocket here is uh, 12 centimeters in width and 13 centimeters in depth and as you can see they are actually able to expand a little then uh, ending up here down at the ankle area there is a piece of uh, elastic band where you can adjust the width of the trousers here in the bottom you can actually get these pants in a lot of different colors there's a black CCE which is a camouflage center Europe this is the French camouflage uh, then there is coyote uh, multicam like this the German flecktan which is the German camouflage uh, there is a navy which is a dark blue and then there is RAL, which is a mixture between a green and grey. Uh, you can get these pants in a lot of different sizes, going down from extra small to two times extra large. Uh, the size in the waist covers uh, 31.5 inches to up to 44 inches, with a 1.5, 1.6 inch uh, interval between the different sizes. You have two uh, lengths in the legs. There's regular, which are 32 inches, and long, which are 34 inches. I'm wearing a long, and they fit me perfectly. That is the size that I normally use also, a, a 34 in the waist and a 34 in the, in the legs. Or a European size, 52 in the waist and a 34 in the legs. And uh, yeah, they fit me perfectly. So the sizes are correct, uh, and uh, as uh, stated on uh, the company's uh, webpage. Um, if I'm going to share my uh, own experiences uh, with these pants, uh, well, I've been using them almost daily for about uh, two months now, and they've been washed, uh, I think, about uh, ten times at least. And I've seen no fading or any wear or tear on the pants, so that's a sign of a really good quality pair of pants. If I'm going to talk about the uh, few negative things that I've observed on the pants, and there are only a few, well, the first one is that the um, side pocket here, it cannot expand. It has the size it has. Uh, not like the uh, small pocket here uh, on the on the lower leg. The side pocket here or the cargo pocket cannot expand. Um, I would like that they could be able to expand a little bit. Here on the front pocket, I have some difficulty sometimes in getting my hands all the way down. Um, it is a tight fit uh, around the opening here, even if I'm only wearing a really thin gloves. And then the last thing is the front zipper here. It cannot uh, self-lock even if it is an YKK zipper. So if you have a lot of stuff in your pockets, this uh, zipper can actually open. Some of the uh, good stuff, <clears throat> and there is actually a lot of it, uh, the uh, pants are contoured to the body and they feel really comfortable when wearing them. It's, uh, it's amazing how nice it is, especially down here uh, on the uh, knee area. Then uh, you have the small details with the extra padding in the waist. Gives uh, the uh, pants a really nice fit. Uh, even if you're wearing a uh, battle belt or uh, you have a uh, large uh, backpack on. Really, really nice with this uh, small uh, feature here. Then uh, also the uh, good uh, things about the, the D-rings here on the two front um, belt loops. I really like that so you can carry stuff here also. Also you have uh, D-rings inside the cargo pocket. You have the extra pocket here uh, for the M4 magazine if you want to carry that. Also that uh, you are able from the front pocket to adjust the height of the knee if you're wearing knee pads or if they're a little bit too long. Really, really nice uh, feature and, uh, and uh, excellent detail. Then you have the, uh, the knee uh, compartment here um, where you can uh, have a lot of different uh, knee pads placed both on the outside and also on the inside. So you can differ between either having a soft knee pad or a hard knee pad or a combination. Really, really nice feature. I really like the uh, small zippered pocket here at, in the cargo area, especially when you're sitting down. Um, it's really easy to get a hold of uh, stuff you have inside that pocket. And then if you continue down the pants to the knee area, uh, the fact that you can adjust the, uh, the size of the pants around your knees with the 
two pieces of Velcro. Really, really nice detail instead of just one. Now you get a uniform pull uh, around your knees instead of just uh, pulling uh, around there on the one side. And then, of course, the uh, small uh, uh, pocket down here uh, on your calf. Really nice uh, feature when you're kneeling down that you can just get a hold of uh, stuff down there. Really, really good. And I think uh, all these details are really nice. One of the other things that I noticed is during my daily wear and also after I washed the pants, uh, at no point did any of the Velcro closures open up. Uh, that goes both for the knee and uh, down here at the ankles and also here in the sides uh, on the waist. Really a good sign of a good quality Velcro used uh, on these pants here. I really like that. If I'm going to do a grading where I compare price to quality, well I haven't been able to find these pants on an online store in the US. But I could find them in some uh, European online stores. The price here was about 120 euros. Uh, that equals about 140 US dollars. And I think that's a really cheap price for a good pair of quality pants from Clogia. The grading I would give this pair of pants is a 9. What brings the grading down is the fact that the small zipper here in the front I think is a little bit underdimensioned and also the fact that it cannot self-lock. If I'm going to give the pants a grading uh, on usability, I would give it a solid 8. The things that brings the grading down is the following. The cargo pocket here on both sides cannot expand. I would like that. Also here in the uh, main pocket, uh, it is sometimes a little bit hard to get my hands uh, all the way down. There is a tight fit here. And also I think the, uh, the tight weave uh, in, the, uh, in the cloth uh, could give uh, some problems uh, if you're in a desert environment. Um, I could imagine that the pants would be quite warm because there is not much breathability in them or any air circulation. You could uh, battle that by maybe placing a zipper here on the side, on both sides, so you can get some air flowing through the pants. And the last thing is the tight fit and the contoured layout of the pants, even though I think it's great. Um, it makes the pants sit really close to your body and in this way it'll actually hamper me in having like a long johns or something on underneath the, uh, the pants uh, because here in, in Denmark it is uh, quite cold sometimes. That was my grading of uh, these uh, pants Raider 4 from uh, Clogia. A really nice pair of pants which I can easily recommend to anyone who wants a piece of uh, quality pants. Really nice. My next video will be on uh, this bag from Hazard 4. It is the Messenger of Doom. So if you want to see this and my coming videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.